I think I think some of us are far underrating Darius Garland. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, this is gonna be a quick video, okay? This this won't be long. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna stay on this for for too much. I, I just wanna I just wanna reiterate my thoughts on going after Darius Garland. So I came across this article and it says potential trade targets uh, merge for San Antonio. And they mentioned uh, uh, Lori Markinen, obviously Darius Garland. Uh, those are two names that you can go after. And they also brought up how Keldon Johnson, he's more than likely gonna be on the trading block. And you know, it says, despite wanting to stay in San Antonio, is one of those teams who could potentially be dealt at the right opportunity, though that's not uh, for certain. But we've had quite a bit come out now that I think I can say with quite a bit of confidence that the Spurs are going to at least be seeing uh, what they could get for, for Keldon. Um, now, really, this is not a long video, okay? But Darius Garland, I think that it's a little disrespectful and a little short-sighted to say that he's not worth some of the things that I've suggested. So if I bring up the, the Spurs uh, future draft picks, because... I probably need to reiterate this because I think sometimes uh, we hear first round pick trade away, tra trade away first round pick, and uh, it's like ah, that's too much, clan. But let, let me let me just break it down to you for a minute, okay? Uh, so what I said that I think the Spurs should give up is Keldon Johnson. I don't think anyone will dispute me on Keldon Johnson. Darius Garland straight up is worth it, right? I don't think anyone disagrees with that. Um, possibly Malachi Branham if they need them. And the reason why I say that is because we already know that they were interested in Malachi Branham prior. Now, maybe that's where you can say that that's a little bit too much, but I think most people got upset when I mentioned the first round picks. Now, one pick that I mentioned, maybe the most controversial one is the Toronto one, the 2024 eighth overall pick. Now, the reason why I would be comfortable if it meant getting Darius Garland, getting rid of this pick, is the fact that I believe Dillingham, this is just all hypothetically, but I believe Dillingham would end up landing around that spot and that's who you would end up taking. And while I don't necessarily think you need a superstar caliber talent next to Wimby at the point guard position, you don't have to have that. It can be in another position, right? Um, and then, and with the new uh, uh, player agreements, it, it's, a, it's a little different. This CPA is a little different. Um, so, you know, it, it, We'll see, we'll see how that pans out. But all I'm trying to say is I don't think you need that. But if it means getting Darius Garland, I'm willing to give away or not get Dillingham, right? Because I think right now uh, we would just be hoping that Dillingham could get to the level of what Darius Garland is. Garland is a better, you know, while you might, might not care about this, he is a better defender, okay? Got a little bit more size on him. And scoring-wise, pass, especially passing-wise, he is a better passer, a better facilitator than what we're expecting Dillingham to be. Even if Dilly comes into the league, he might not potentially start right off the bat, right? Like that it's gonna take that would take some time. Um, so I will be comfortable with giving away that eighth overall pick if the Spurs were thinking to get Dilly. If it's Dilly or Garland, I would go with Garland, even though I, I love Dilly as a as a prospect. That's that's just my thoughts on that. Now, the other first round picks, this is where I got a little frustrated, okay? A little upset. Um, uh, I, I didn't really understand because I said that another first round pick that I'll be willing to give up is the Hornets first round pick, which guys, the Hornets first round pick isn't even a real first round pick, right? It's not even gonna convey, more than likely it's not gonna convey at all. Protected one through 14, it's not gonna be, this is a fake first round pick. So that's a pick that I'll be willing to give up. I don't think it'll convey anyway. And also the Chicago Bulls pick, which protected one through 10, it more than likely won't end up being a lottery pick anyways. I wouldn't mind giving away the Chicago pick. So the only one that stands out that's pretty rough will be our eighth. But like I said, if the Spurs are planning to get Ron Holland or Modest Buzelis at four, which we don't know yet, right? Or even Stephen Castle. Stephen Castle, if, if that's a, a player that they want at four, then I don't really see why you wouldn't get rid of the eight for Garland. I, that's something I just don't understand. And then, like I said, the Hornets isn't even a real first round pick. And then if you look at uh, the Chicago one, which it could be a decent one, but that's up in the air, right? We don't really know what they're going to do 
Uh, yeah, I don't even know if the Bulls know what they're going to do right now. Um, you know, they, they might try to bring uh, DeMar DeRozan back. And in that case, this would convey, but they could potentially not. And then you just kind of stuck. I don't know. And then also, I'll be willing to give away, you know, maybe a few seconds if, if that's, you know, a deal breaker. But I doubt it. So, yeah, I, I don't... I understand that I understand that Darius Garland did not have a great, you know, playoffs, right? It, it wasn't the best, um, but with him coming off uh, injury, with uh, all the adjustments that he's had to make uh, with Cleveland, I, I his talent has been shown. We know how good he's capable of being. I, I hate the fact that you know we're saying that he's not worth a, a few firsts, one first that's not even going to convey. And then another first that's not even a lottery pick. It's protected. So, I don't know. Just to me, I don't think it's that uh, controversial to, to go after that. And the Spurs wouldn't be losing much, right? You still would have Atlanta's. I, it's not like I'm sitting here saying, oh, yeah, I get rid of all of Atlanta's and our own. No, no. We will still have our own. We'll still have Atlanta's. Um, those should be pretty doggone valuable. You would have so many second round picks. I mean, you got Atlanta swap in 2026. Like you, you'll be fine. You'll be completely fine. Still in control of your future. So I don't know, just a weird thing to me. Um, but you can let me know, you know, what you will be willing to give up for Darius Garland and, and don't, don't say nothing. Okay. Don't, don't say it. unless you really think that he's just that trash. Like he's so garbage to you wouldn't be willing to give, you would give up something. Okay. You would give up something like, and if it's not Kelden in in a first or a future first then i i don't know what to tell you man that that's a that would be a, a deal right there um and even with my you know suggestion i don't necessarily think it'll just take that i think they'll want a little bit more than that but you know I, if, if it's it's possible I'll, I'll do that in a heartbeat anyways get with you guys later till next time man bye